Now we're going to look at uh, Rousseau's most uh, influential work, that is the social contract. As I've already said to you, he begins his, uh, his uh, book with the famous quotation, man is born free, yet we see him everywhere in chains. Those who believe themselves are masters of others cease not to be given greater slaves than the people they govern says Rousseau. When a people is constrained to obey and does obey, it does well, but as soon as it can throw off its yoke and does throw it off, it does better. Isme koi shak nahi, he is saying, that societies that where there are, you know, strong states, strong kings, have no doubt done well. He is not denying that. But what he is saying is, societies where there are people who are truly free, have and will always do better. Freedom is always better than slavery. Even within slavery, there can be some progress of science and the economy and so on. But if a people is truly free, the progress will be that much greater. Slavery, he says, is not natural. Some people think slavery is natural. He doesn't consider it. The earliest and only natural societies are families. If you go back in time, what you see is that People unite together in families without the state, without any external pressure and so on. Families are the first models of political societies. The chief represents the father of the family, the children represent the people. If there are some who are slaves by nature, the reason is that men were made slaves against nature, against their nature. So if you find some people who are happy in their slavery, who say we want to be slaves, we are happy in that, it's only because successively whipping them, breaking them psychologically has made them, uh, has developed within them a slave morality. But by nature they were never slaves. Families are the first, oh, sorry, force made the first slaves and slavery by degrading and corrupting its victims perpetuated their bondage. So the first people were enslaved by force. Kuvvat se unko jo hai dabaya gaya or generations pe jab unko dabaya gaya aur unke saath zulm aur jabar kiya gaya to ab wo apne conditions se desensitize ho chuke so isliye they might like slavery in this first passage rousseau is trying to prove to you that slavery is neither natural nor good for society he asks does force constitute a right in other words agar aap jabar se kisi ko enslave kar lete hain kya isse ये साबित हो जाता है कि जो आपने अमल किया है वो दुरुस्त है वो राइट है इफ यू एडमिट दैट फोर्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स अ राइट अगर हम ये कहें कि माइट इज राइट द इफेक्ट चेंजेस विद द कॉज जब किसी के पास माइट नहीं रहती और किसी और के पास माइट आ जाती है कुवत आ जाती है तो उल्ट सारा रिलेशनशिप उलट जाता है पहले इट वॉज जस्टिफाइड फॉर मी टू इंसलेव यू नाउ इट इज जस्टिफाइड फॉर यू टू इंसलेव मी दिस मेक्स नो सेंस एज रूसो all force which overcomes the first succeeds to its right so in other words what sort of right is it that which perishes with the force that gave it existence if you consider this a right it is my right to enslave you this is a very strange kind of right ke jab aapke paas wo quwwat hai nahi to phir aapke paas right bhi nahi hai jab aapke paas wo quwwat hai to tab aapka right hai so this cannot be a, a right should be something which exists outside of whether or not you have the force to, to, to implement it. Hence, force does not constitute right, and obedience is only due to legitimate power. You only owe your obedience to somebody that really has legitimate power. Force is not equal to legitimate power. If force is equal to legitimate power, then the chor hai, jo daka dal ke aapse cheez chori kar leta hai, uska act bhi utna legitimate hai. Aapke paas koi right nahi to say ke bhi mere paise wapis kar do. मेरे मेरी जायदाद वापस कर दो मेरे साथ जुल्म जबर ना करो जिसके पास कुवत है वो जो मर्जी करे तो ये तो कोई राइट का तस्वर नहीं हो सकता देन रूसो आस्क डज गॉड गिव द राइट टू इन स्लेव क्योंकि यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ स्लेवरी वॉज जस्टिफाइड इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन रिलीजियस क्लैरिक्स ऑल्सो सेट के यू नो ये तो खुदा की तरफ से हम क्या कर सकते हैं खुदा ने कुछ लोगों को जो है वो आका बनाया और कुछ लोगों को जो है वो गुलाम बनाया आजकल भी हम ये आर्ग्यूमेंट कभी कभार सुनते हैं सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फोर्स एंड राइट रूसो इज सेंग दैट 
force cannot constitute right because might is not right he's saying because um, wo cheez right ho hi nahi sakti that collapses when the force that in that force necessary to enforce it collapses then the right collapses that a conception of right which rests on the arbitrary use of force cannot be in accordance with what we understand <laughs> rights to be which would be something that you should have regardless of whether or not you have the force to enforce them now uh, moving on to religion all power we are told hame ye kaha jata hai ki ji ye khuda ki taraf se khuda ne aise banaya hai khuda ne insano ki qudrat banayi hai all power we are told comes from god i grant it does main kabool karta hu ke khuda ki taraf se hi sab kuch banaya gaya hai but all disease likewise comes from the same hand disease jo hai wo bhi khuda ne banayi hai and yet who ever forbade us to call in a physician ये तो नहीं कहीं किसी ने कहा हुआ कि क्योंकि खुदा की तरफ से डिजीज बनाई हुई है लिहाजा मैं डॉक्टर को नहीं बुलाना चाहिए भैया आपको अगर कोई बीमारी हो जाती है आप डॉक्टर को बुलाते हैं ना इवन दो यू एक्सेप्ट दैट पूरी कायनात में तमाम चीजें खुदा की तरफ से बनाई गई हैं इंक्लूडिंग वो जर्म्स और बैक्टीरिया और वायरसेज जो आपको इस वक्त तबाह आपके जिसम को बर्बाद कर रहे हैं तो फिर भी आप डॉक्टर को तो बुलाते हैं तो इससे क्या साबित हुआ इससे यह साबित हुआ कि इवन इफ सर्टन थिंग्स एवरी थिंग इज क्रिएटेड बाई गॉड दैट इज नॉट अ जस्टिफिकेशन फॉर स्लेवरी बिकॉज बैड थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड बाई गॉड गुड एंड बैड ऑल थिंग्स आर क्रिएटेड बाई गॉड एंड येट वी स्ट्राइव टू अंडू बैड थिंग्स सो वी शुड स्ट्राइव टू अंडू स्लेवरी इन मच द सेम वे कैन अ पीपल गिव अप देर लिबर्टी थ्रू कन्वेंशन कैन यू साइन अ डॉक्यूमेंट विच सेज Uh, can you say, can there be a you know agreement through which you say okay i accept my slavery to renounce our liberty he says is to renounce our quality of man agar aap ye kahen ki mujhe gulami kabool hai iska matlab hai aap ye baat kabool kar rahe hain ki aap insaan hi nahi hain such a renunciation is incompatible with the nature of man aapki qudrat ke ye khilaf hai ki aap apne aap ko kahe ki main insaan hi nahi hain main to ek auzar hu मैं तो एक चीज हूं मैं तो एक किसी की मलकियत हूं यह आपकी इंसानियत के खिलाफ है यह आप कह रहे हैं कि आप वो हैं जो कि आप नहीं हैं आप अपनी आप को पहचान ही नहीं रहे वी फाइंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी आई लव दिस फ्रेज कहता है यस वी फाइंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी ऑल्सो इन डंजन्स लोगों को गुलामी की जंजीरों के अंदर जकेड़ दें और उनको किसी दलदल के अंदर फेंक दें किसी तय खाने के अंदर फेंक दें तो ये भी हो सकता है कि वहां पे वो खामोश रहें बट इज दैट इनफ टू मेक दम इंजॉयबल खामोश रोग हो जाते हैं मगर इसका ये मतलब नहीं कि वो अपने हालात को कबूल कर रहे हैं कि उनको वो हालात पसंद हैं हरगिज नहीं डू स्टेट द राइट टू इंसलेव पीपल बाई कॉन्क्वेस्ट अगर किसी दूसरे के ऊपर आपने हमला किया उनको उनको उन पर इकतदार कायम कर लिया तो क्या आपके पास ये हक है कि आप उनको गुलाम बना लें अपना वॉर इज नॉट ए कंसर्न बिटवीन मैन एंड मैन बट 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 बिटवीन स्टेट एंड स्टेट जब जंग होती है दो रियासतों के दरमियान तो दो फर्दों के दरमियान जंग नहीं है वो दो रियासतों के दरमियान जंग है और इसका सबूत यह है स्टेट कैन ओनली हैव अदर स्टेट एंड नॉट मैन फॉर एनिमीज बिकॉज देर कैन बी नो ट्रू रिलेशन बिटवीन थिंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट नेचर्स रियासत किसी फर्द को अपना दुश्मन नहीं बना सकती किसी और रियासत को अपना दुश्मन जरूर बनाती है and in so far as a individual is a representative of the state the state is the enemy of another state but the individual is not aur iska saboot kya hai saboot ye hai for instance the army of one state has a right to kill the defenders of the other while they still have arms in the hand do faujein ek dusre ke sath lad rahi hain jab unke paas bandooke dono side ke paas bandooke hain to ye ladai to hogi aur ladai ho rahi hai aur ladai koi illegitimate nahi main keh raha but As soon as they lay them down and surrender themselves, अगर एक साइड ये कहती है we give up, we surrender, ये लो हम हथियार फेंक रहे हैं white flag, हम नहीं आपको मारना चाहते we surrender. As soon as one of them lays the arms down, they cease to be enemies or the instrument of enemies. They become simply men. They take off their uniform, they take off their badges, and they say, "We are not fighting you anymore." we are now now they have transformed themselves from being representatives of the state to being just individuals and the victors have no longer any right over their lives ab ek fauj ke paas ye haq nahi hai ki wo un sab ko goli maar ke qatl kar de 
اگر انہوں نے سرینڈر کیا ہے تو ہر بندہ یہ ایکسیپٹ کرتا ہے کہ ان کا سرینڈر قبول کرنا چاہیے آپ کو ان کو قتل نہیں کر دینا چاہیے قتل عام نہیں کرنا چاہیے that would be unjust everybody accepts this they surrendered don't fight them don't kill them now they surrendered so why do we accept this we accept this because a state cannot have an individual as an enemy a state only has a state as an enemy and whereas the individuals were representing a state they were enemies but as soon as they say I've taken my uniform off my badges off I've put my gun down I'm no longer representing that state then they can no longer be enemies so what is the conclusion that Rousseau wants to come from this the conclusion is if war does not give the conqueror the right to massacre the conquered and we accept this that war does not give you the right to kill everybody if you fight a war against India or India fights a war against us or whatever the case may be and you win after you win do you have the right to go around killing all of them no nobody accepts that correct our religion prohibits it we have a very good example of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him when he conquered Makkah did he kill everybody in Makkah for opposing him no he didn't so uh, and we have many other examples of the same Salauddin Ayubi and Richard the Lionheart etc and if some person did kill people after conquering a city massacred them have we considered that act to be legitimate history is not mankind has not judged that act it's not that that has not happened it has happened but the point is that mankind has not judged that act to be legitimate so if war does not give the conqueror the right to massacre the conquered then that right does not exist and cannot serve as the basis for the right to enslave the conquered war also does not give you the right to conquer the people to enslave the people against whom you have fought the war aapke paas ye haq nahi hai aap lade unse states to states ki ladai hoti hai over interests and so on so forth but you don't have the right to massacre them and you don't have the right to enslave them if you do that you have done something that mankind cannot accept it goes against nature slavery and right he finally concludes simply contradict and exclude each other where we talk about rights there can be no slavery where we talk about slavery a slave has no rights they are not they are two things that are poles apart he says so where the fundamental problem of modernity he says is where shall we find the form of association ایسی طرح ہم نے اکٹھے ہونا ہے اسوسیٹ کرنا ایک دوسرے سے ریاست بنانی ہے وچ ول ڈیفینڈ اینڈ پروٹیکٹ ود اے ہول کامن فورس دا پرسن اینڈ پراپرٹی آف ایچ اسوسیٹ ہر بندے کی جان و مال کا تحفظ بھی کرے گی اینڈ بائی وچ ایوری پرسن وائل یونائٹنگ ہم سیلف ود آل شال بی اونلی ہم سیلف اینڈ ریمین فری ایز بیفور اور ایسی اسوسیشن جہاں ہر بندہ ریاست کے ساتھ جڑ بھی رہا ہے اور آزاد بھی یہ دس از دا کی کوشچن کہ ریاست نے آپ کی جان و مال کا بھی تحفظ کرنا ہے آپ ریاست کے ساتھ جڑ بھی رہے ہیں آپ ہی نے ریاست بنانی ہے اور یو آر دی آتھرز آف دا اسٹیٹ اینڈ یٹ یو آر آلسو یور اون پرسن یو آر فری ایز این انڈیویجول سو دی آنسر ہی سیز از دا سوشل کانٹریکٹ دا ٹوٹل ایلینیشن آف ایچ ایسوسیٹ ان آل از رائٹس ٹو دا ہول کمیونٹی میں اپنے تمام حقوق کس کو دے رہا ہوں پورے اپنی کمیونٹی کو پاکستانی اپنی بھائی بہنوں کو دے رہا ہوں جو حقوق میرے ہیں وہ میں اپنے حقوق جو ہے اپنی کمیونٹی کو ڈیوالو کر رہا ہوں دے رہا ہوں واٹ از دیٹ مین ایچ پرسن گیوز ہم سیلف ٹو آل وہ آپ نے کبھی مووی یا بک پڑھی ہے جس میں تھری ماسکیٹیئرز ہوتے ہیں ان کا سلوگن کیا ہے کس نے وہ کتاب پڑھی ہے تھری ماسکیٹیئرز کس نے فلم دیکھی تھری ماسکیٹیئرز کس کو ویسے پتا ہے تھری ماسکیٹیئرز کوئی ہوتی شاید شکر ہے تو تھری ماسکیٹیئرز تھے ایکچولی چار تھے بٹ دے اسٹارٹ آؤٹ از تھری اینڈ دین دے بیکم فور ان دا مووی تو تھری ماسکیٹیئرز کا جو تھے وہ دے ہیڈ ماسکیٹس دے فرینچ اینڈ دے ہیڈ اے سلوگن واٹ واز اے سلوگن آپ بتائیں ذرا زور سے بولنا آل فار ون اینڈ ون فار آل یعنی کہ تمام لوگ جو ہیں وہ کسی ایک کو بچانے میں اپنا کردار ادا کریں گے اور ایک بندہ جو ہے وہ تمام لوگوں کو بچانے میں اپنی جان قربان کرنے کے لیے تیار یہ ہوئی نا دوستی مجھے وہ گانا یاد آ گیا دوستی والا کیا نام تھا اس کا گانے کا ہاں یہ دوستی ہم نہیں بھولیں گے توڑیں گے کیا دم اگر مگر ساتھ نہ چھوڑیں گے رائٹ سو دیٹس واٹ ہی وانٹس ہی وانٹس دس کمیونٹی ٹو کم ٹوگیدر ایچ ایف آس پلیس از ان کامن ہز پرسن اینڈ آل ہز پاور انڈر دا سپریم ڈائریکشن 
of the general will. ये क्या है जी general will? As I said before, ये जर्नेलों की will नहीं है. And as one body, we all receive each member as an indivisible part of the whole. We have to start thinking about this in a different way. We are part of society. We are the society is the whole. It is the community. It is, uh, and that community is, he says, indivisible. We have to recognize this. It's already there. हम अगर इस ज़िंदगी में रह रहे हैं, तो हम रह रहे हैं through our social relations. कोई बंदा वो पानी तैयार कर रहा है जो मैं पी रहा हूँ कोई खाना तैयार कर रहा है कोई बंदा एजुकेट कर रहा है कि पानी कैसे तैयार करना है कोई कोई काम कर रहा है कोई काम कर रहा है एंड इट इज ओनली थ्रू आर कलेक्टिव एफर्ट आर वर्क टुगेदर दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस सोसाइटी जो म्यूजिशंस हैं उनका म्यूजिक इंजॉय करते हैं जो आर्टिस्ट हैं उनका आर्ट हम इंजॉय करते हैं जो साइंटिस्ट हैं उनकी वजह से हम अपनी पैदावार बेहतर करते हैं इन थेरी एटलीस्ट एंड सोन सो फोर्थ सो वी आर we are all benefiting each other sometimes we are also hurting each other right <laughs> if we recognize that we are all and that the community is 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 all of us working together then we recognize that the associate takes collectively the name of the people we are kaun hai hum sab we are the people and separately we are citizens so as a collective we are a people and individually citizens as participating in the sovereign authority and of subjects because they are subjected to the laws of the state and because we accept certain laws we are subject so the people is the whole the citizen is the individual the subject is all of us um, as we obey a legitimate law a law that we ourselves create as soon as this multitude a ek baat hum आम पाकिस्तानियों में आम मिलती है कि हम भीड़ हैं मगर हम कौम नहीं है कभी आपने ये सुना फिक्रा इस्तेमाल होता है हम एक भीड़ हैं मगर हम एक कौम नहीं है अब जो लोग ये फिक्रा इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं उनको शायद ये नहीं पता कि दिस इज क्लासिक रूसो एज सोन एज दिस मल्टीट्यूड मल्टीट्यूड क्या हुआ भीड़ एज सोन एज दिस मल्टीट्यूड इज यूनाइटेड इन वन बॉडी अब हम उसको कहते हैं कि ये कॉम बन गई है but he doesn't use the word com for it use the words uses the word people you cannot offend one of its members without attacking the body agar main aapka kya naam hai nimra nimra ko aage chhedu uska main baal jo tick karke kar lu to aap sab ne jo hai khade ho ke kehna oh nimra is part of the people of france or pakistan or whatever he is a lump student how dare you pluck that hair from her head everybody has to unite to protect nimra so or at least everybody ought to consider an attack on every individual as an attack on all everybody much less can you offend the body without incurring the resentment of the members agar main aap sab ko attack karu to har bande ka farz banta hai ki aapne apni identity ko defend karna you have to defend the people whosoever refuses to obey the general will shall be compelled to it by the whole party aur agar char log hain wo kahe mujhe to nimra pasand nahi hai मैं नहीं उसको डिफेंड करूंगी तो बाकी सब उसको कहेंगे ओए चंडे चुंडे कराएंगे और कहेंगे कि पसंद हो या ना हो वो पाकिस्तानी है वी हैव टू डिफेंड हर या वो मुसलमान है वी हैव टू डिफेंड हर या वट एवर द आइडेंटिटी इज द ऑफ द पीपल विच वॉज अ नेशनल आइडेंटिटी फॉर रूसो एज फ्रेंच और वट एवर यू हैव टू डिफेंड दैट सो देन वॉट अबाउट लिबर्टी विच वॉज द गोल ऑफ रूसो what kind of liberty does he propose if we all form this state because originally to russo ne ye kaha tha ki jab hum original state mein the to hum bade azad the to wo piche saath baitha is not in this class magar wo ami shaukiya yahan pe aa gaya hai aur wo ye sawal uthaya gaya ki sir why not just go back to that state of nature jo russo ko itna pasand tha ab russo ye kehta hai ki masla ye hai saad miyan ke we can't go back kyunki ab hum wahan se aage aa gaye hain वो जैसे ना गीत ये कहाँ आ गए हम यूं ही साथ चलते चलते कुछ हमारे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ है कि हमने अब साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप कर ली हमने अब आर्ट्स को एक हम पॉइंट पे पहुंचा चुके हैं हमने प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी डेवलप कर दी है अब वहाँ से हम अब हम वापस वहाँ नहीं जा सकते बिकॉज ऑफ द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन वी वुड हैव टू डिस्ट्रॉय एंड ब्रेक अप सिविलाइजेशन इन ऑर्डर टू गो बैक टू द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर एंड दैट वुड बी सच अ स्मार्ट थिंग वाई शुड वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रॉय सिविलाइजेशन यस Yes. 
Well, he didn't want to destroy all civilization, but he certainly wanted to destroy Judeo-Christian civilization as it stood then. But he, he was an admirer of the Greek and Roman civilization. So it's not the case that he was totally anti-civilization. Neither does Rousseau want to destroy all civilization. He thinks it can't be done. I mean, it's not, it's not a goal that, it's not a goal we ought to strive towards. It will just bring death and destruction, nothing else, right? Yes. So, sir, isn't that quite uh, contradictory to the fact that if someone has an opposing view that he may find to be better than what the general will is saying. So, if he says that and the general forces him to change his point of view, isn't that oppression in itself? It may not force him to change his point of view, but it will it, it, the minority opinion will not be considered part of the general will. But I'll answer this, I mean, it will, if five people hold one view and everybody else is of the other view, I, we're not saying that the five people should be silenced. But we are saying that uh, the five people's decision cannot be the decision of society as a whole. The decision of society will be the decision of the general will. What is the general will? We will just come to that in a little bit, if you just give me a little bit of time. But let's first understand what kind of liberty does he propose now. He is not proposing that we go back to the state of nature. He does not think that that is possible. Instead, he proposes a new kind of liberty. The original liberty was a natural liberty. The new liberty is what he calls civil liberty. Write that down, please. Civil liberty is different from the liberty in the state of nature or natural liberty. Man loses by the social contract his natural man, sorry, loses by social contract his natural liberty and an unlimited right to all which tempts him and which he can obtain in return. He acquires civil liberty. So we have lost natural liberty, which we had in the state of nature. Civilization has progressed. We can't go back to natural liberty now because now we have come very far from that natural state and in order to have that natural state we'd have to destroy civilization and go all the way back that obviously is a ridiculous idea so, but within the context of modern civilization we can create a new kind of liberty a liberty based on civilization and that liberty not based on the state of nature what kind of liberty can you have now that we are no longer in the state of nature now that we are in civil society you can have civil liberty. And what is that? Natural liberty knows no bounds. Civil liberty is limited by the general will. So we have to understand what is the general will? How does it limit or create our liberty? He says, in fact, it is slavery to be under the impulse of mere appetite and freedom to obey a law which we prescribe for ourselves. So, agar har vakat aap wohi karte rahe, jo aap so that is not to be, that is not real freedom. You are enslaved to your appetites. To control your appetite and say, I will eat chocolate, I will eat chocolate. It's very difficult for me. Okay, you know, once I gave up sugar, it was a very difficult for me. For two weeks, I artificial sugar. Has anyone ever tried it? It is fantastic. Okay, uh, if you really want to create this self-discipline and not be under the control of your appetite, try it for this. Try some uh, this experiment. That today you have not sugar in any cheese. Mein khana. Jis cheese mein artificial sugar hai, wo aapne nahi khani aaj. Hai? How many of you try, will try it out? Raise your hands. Very good. Your health will be way better. The fat on your stomach will evaporate. You will get a six-pack if you're a guy. Unlikely that you'll get it if you're a girl. Um, or you can also get it if you're a girl, but you have to work much harder if you're a girl to get a six pack. And um, you'll discover that you won't have mood swings, right? After you have a bar of chocolate, you're like, hey, I'm so happy, the world is so great. And after the sugar runs out, you're like, hmm. <laughs> world is terrible, right? That won't happen to you. You'll have consistent energy. By the way, the worst thing in your diet, let me tell you this, the worst thing in your diet is the artificial sugar you take. It is worse than the makhan and the fat and the boiled eggs and the, anything else that you have is fine. Sugar is the killer, really. It is the reason behind most of the diseases that you get. Uh, but because, you know, the sugar industry makes so much money by selling you chocolates, etc., and soda and soft drinks and so on. Nobody can say you, you can't get that on the mainstream media because they have, you know, their advertising budgets are in 
billions of dollars as a whole. The, the whole, uh, I mean, you wouldn't have Coca-Cola. I guarantee you, you would not have Coca-Cola or any cocoa product if it didn't have so much sugar in it. In fact, Coca-Cola has, I think, about eight teaspoons of sugar in it. Eight teaspoons of sugar. Can you have eight teaspoons of sugar in one go? No, you can't, but you have a Coca-Cola, which is equal, and you don't even realize it. That's how powerful it is. <coughs> All right, so to continue. So in civil society, we will get, we, we are not trying now, we're not going to be anarchists, etc. We need to understand that civilization has been achieved, and now we're going to create laws that accord to it. Property is established by the right of the first occupant, provided the land is yet uninhabited. Um, the party must not occupy more land than is sufficient to supply him with subsistence. And possession occurs of property by labor. We all read this already in John Locke. We know this. However, he says, the right which each individual has over his own property is always subordinate to the right which the community has over all. You may have a right over property, as John Locke said, but society has a right over you and therefore also has a right over your property. Hmm. This means you could have society decide that the property of ABC individuals or the way in which certain individuals are using their property is illegitimate or wrong or bad for society and therefore that property should be taken away. Rousseau is giving you the right is saying that Locke will remember that he said that if you mix the labor in the first place, then it's just your own. And the only thing that he has done is that he has to protect your property. It's over the end of the day. But Rousseau is saying something different from Locke. He is saying that we have to look after the general will, good will of society. We have to make the good will of society. And if there is someone who is using his property in such a way, for example, he is making drugs on his property, या उसने सारी प्रॉपर्टी पे कब्जा कर लिया और वो किसी नई कंपनी को स्टार्टअप नहीं होने देना जिसको हम कहते हैं ट्रस्ट बना लिया उसने जिसके खिलाफ एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज हम बनाते हैं मोनोपोलाइज कर लिया किसी एक फील्ड को जिसकी वजह से उस फील्ड के अंदर कंपटीशन खत्म हो गया तो रूसो इस सेइंग कि सोसाइटी � so, furthermore, Rousseau says, all will be equal before the law in this uh, society of um, civil liberty. Instead of destroying the natural equality of mankind, the fundamental compact, this new civil liberty, substitutes, on the contrary, a moral and legal equality for that physical inequality which nature placed amongst men. And that, let men be ever so unequal in strength or in genius, they are all equalized by convention and legal right. Doesn't matter if you're stronger, physically or weaker, more intelligent or less intelligent, in front of the law, Manal, you are going to all be equal. Okay? Sovereignty is inalienable. You can't give it to somebody else. Sovereignty cannot be represented but by itself. The power may well be transmitted but not the will. Sovereignty always belongs first and foremost to the people. It then gives that so power the power of, the, of sovereignty to its elected representative. The communards of the chiefs can pass for the good, for the general will, as long as the people do not oppose them. It is always the people that give the prime minister or the president the power to legislate. And you can never argue that the people have somehow or the other given it away permanently or anything of that sort. Sovereignty is also indivisible. The right which we take for a part of that sovereignty are all subordinate to it and always supposed ex uh, supreme wills of which they only sanction the execution. So it is indivisible. The whole people have given that right to the committee that they have elected to execute that right. And you can't divide it up and say, aapke ye representatives hain, aapke woh honge, ek riyasat aapki representative hoongi. Mukhtalif riyasat hain hi bana sakte aap ek hi riyasat ke andar. Can the general will make an error? Now you come to your question. General will is what? And is this not wrong? The first thing is that if you look at the people in a social way, the general will is always right and tends to the public advantage. If you debate the people and debate the people, the people generally want to be good. The people don't want to be good as a whole. 
چند لوگوں کا فائدہ اور باقیوں کا نقصان ہو جائے دا پیپل آر نیور کرپٹیڈ ہی سیز بٹ دے آر آفن ڈسیوڈ لوگ غلط نہیں ہوتے یہ غلط کبھی کبھار ہم کہتے ہیں لو چھوڑیں پاکستان کی عوام تو ہے ہی کرپٹ پاکستان کی عوام کرپٹ نہیں ہے مگر کبھی کبھار غلط فہمیوں کا شکار ضرور ہو جاتی غلط خیالات کا شکار ضرور ہو جاتی اور کوئی بھی عوام ہو سکتی ہے جرمن جرمنی کی پبلک جو ہٹلر کے پیچھے ٹور پڑی اس کے بارے میں بھی ہم یہ نہیں کہیں گے کہ جرمن لوگ ہی خراب ہیں ہم یہ کہیں گے کہ دے ور ڈسیوڈ دے ڈن انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ واز گوئنگ آن اینڈ اونلی دین ڈو دے سیم ٹو ول واٹ از بیڈ یس right right okay we're coming to that that's exactly what we're coming to so now we have to understand the two different concepts ek hai the will of all or ek hai the general will ye dono cheeze farak hai just because everybody votes over here and says ke hame mera khayal hai ye theek hai does that make it the general will farz kare sare ye vote karte hain ke sir hamare mulk mein ahmadi nahi hone chahiye hone hi nahi chahiye jitne hain unko nikal de تو کیا روسو یہ کہے گا کہ یہ جنرل ول ہے پھر لوگوں کی نہیں یا ہم یہ ووٹ کریں کہ سارے جوس کو قتل کر دیں سارے جرمنز یہ ووٹ کریں کہ جوس کو قتل کر دو سب کو تو کیا یہ روسو کہے گا یہ جنرل ول تھی روسو کہے گا نہیں دس از دا ول آف آل بٹ اٹ از ناٹ دا جنرل ول کیا فرق ہے دا لیٹر ریگارڈس اونلی دا کامن انٹرسٹ دا فارم از دا سم آف پرائیویٹ ولس تو جنرل ول میں آپ نے یہ دیکھنا ہے کہ سب کا بھلا کس پالیسی میں ہے سب کا بھلا کس طرح ہو سکتا ہے یہ آپ نے دیکھنا ہے یہ نہیں آپ نے دیکھنا صرف کہ سب کی مرضی کیا ہے سب کی مرضی جو ہے از دا ول آف آل سب کا بھلا جو ہے از دا جنرل ول ریمو فرام دی سیم ولس دا پلس از اینڈ مائنس از دیٹ کینسل ایچ ادر اینڈ دین دا جنرل ول ریمین ایز اے سم آف دا ڈفرنس یعنی کہ آپ کے آپسی کے مف... کے... کے اختلافات ہو سکتے ہیں کوئی کہے گا کہ جی بی بیوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا مردوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا اقلیتوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا مزدوروں کو زیادہ دیں کسانوں کو زیادہ دیں وغیرہ وغیرہ سو دیر آر آل دیز انٹرسٹ گروپس لیٹ سے ان سوسائٹی سو وچ ون آف دیز انٹرسٹ گروپس ریپرزینٹس دا جنرل ول یو مے بی آسکی روسو کا جواب یہ ہے کہ وہ پالیسی جس میں سب کا ہی بھلا ہوگا وہ جنرل ول ہے نہ کہ وہ پالیسی جس میں ایک حصے کا بھلا ہو or to find that policy you have to see you have to minus out ke pluses and minuses ko minus out karna padega ke wo cheeze jiske andar ikhtilaf hai usko chhodte hue wo cheeze jis pe aap ittefaq karte hain wo kya hai and in for how will we get to that saad is thinking while looking at his phone he says the answer is an informed debate will give rise to the general will آپ جب لوگوں کو اکٹھا کریں گے اور ایک ڈیبیٹ کرائیں گے مگر ڈیبیٹ وہ والی نہیں جو ٹی وی پہ چلتی ہے جس کے اندر ایک بندہ جو ہے دوسرے بندے کو ٹماٹر مار رہا ہوتا ہے اور دوسرا بندہ دوسرے بندے کو محاورے محاور محاورے محاوراتی ٹماٹر مار رہا ہوتا ہے یہ نہیں ہمیں چاہیے کہ تو پیڑا تھے میں پیڑا اٹ ہیز ٹو بی این انفارمڈ ڈیبیٹ انفارمیشن لے کر آئیں بتائیں دیکھیں جی میں نے یہ پالیسی بنائی ہے یہ ایجوکیشن پالیسی میں نے بنائی ہے اس کے لیے ہمیں اتنے پیسے چاہیے ہوں گے اس میں سے یہ یہ فوائد ہیں وہ عوام کے سامنے رکھیں اور پھر عوام سے کہیں کہ آپ آپ بتائیں کہ آپ کا کیا خیال ہے کون سی پالیسی درست ہے غلط ہے وغیرہ وغیرہ اور بائی انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا اسپیسیفیسٹیز آف دا پالیسی دیٹ وڈ بی این انفارم ڈیبیٹ ناٹ بائی سینگ یہ بڑا ہینڈسم ہے یہ بڑی گڈ لکنگ ہے اس کو میں ووٹ دوں گا کیونکہ یہ ہینڈسم ہے اس کو میں ووٹ دوں گا کیونکہ یہ نہیں کوئی کرائٹیریا دیٹ ناٹ این انفارم ڈیبیٹ انفارم ڈیبیٹ از وین یو نو پالیسیز کیا ہیں اچھی ہیں بری ہیں کیسی ہیں دیٹ از وائی نو پارشل سوسائٹی شوڈ بی فارمڈ ان دا اسٹیٹ بائیس نہیں ہو جانا چاہیے پالیسیز کو دیکھنا چاہیے فار ویدر دے گڈ اور بیڈ اینڈ ایوری سٹیجن شوڈ اسپیک از اوپینین انٹائرلی فرام ہم سیلف آپ کھڑے ہوں اور آپ کہیں آپ کا کیا نام ہے سوری زرمین کھڑی اور میں کہ میں بیبیوں کی طرف سے یہ کہنا چاہتی ہوں کہ مرد سارے جو ہیں وہ ایکس وائی زیڈ ہوتے ہیں آپ اپنی طرف سے کہہ دیں آپ کہ میں زرمین ہوں اور میرا یہ نقطہ نظر ہے کہ سب مرد جو ہیں الو کے پٹھے ہیں ٹھیک ہے وہ آپ کا نقطہ نظر ہو سکتا ہے مگر آپ اور لوگوں کے بہاف پہ بات نہ کریں اپنے بہاف پہ بات کریں آئی تھنک دیٹس اے ویری گڈ پرنسپل انلیس آف کورس ادر پیپل 
you know have elected you to speak on their behalf or something of that sort explicitly or something of that sort but you have to speak for yourself not for other people in this informed debate my view on this is XYZ don't pretend to speak for other people what will be the limits of sovereign power Riyasat ki iktadar ki upar hadood kya hongi the sovereign cannot impose any burden on the subject unless which is useless to the community aisa koi tax lagana jiska koi fayda nahi hai wo aapko nahi lagana chahiye according to Jean Jacques Rousseau. In the same manner as a private will cannot represent the general will, the general will changes its nature if its object is private. Agar general, agar riyasat jo hai, wo koi aisa kanun muna hai jis mein kisi fard ka fayda hai, society ka fayda nahi, ya kisi section of society ka mehaz fayda hai, tamam society ka fayda nahi, to wo phir ab general will nahi kahi ja sakti, wo ab ek private will ban gai hai. The generality of the will depends less on the number of voters than on the common interests which unite them. So, this is not the matter of the person, the individual person has voted or not. The matter is that the general will is the thing. Does it unite the people of the country? That's the question. All authentic acts of the general will, will, general will oblige or favor all citizens alike. The general will is the thing in which every country has the sovereign knows no person but the body of the nation and does not make any distinction amongst the individuals who compose it. He doesn't say that the land is my favorite, that's why I will give it to him. He says that whoever will complete this criteria, he will get this reward. Whoever that person is. So justice therefore is blind. It does not differentiate between people, favoritism or nepotism by the color of their skin or by any other such thing. So the general will now is justifiable, he says, because it has a social contract for its basis. general will It is equitable because it is common to all. It is beneficial because it aims to the general good. It is solid also because it is guaranteed by public force by the state. Riyasat usko enforce karayegi. With a social contract in place, the people obey only their own will. To ask how far, yani ke unka apna banaya wa contract hai. Unka apna banaya wa kanun hai. Aap apni hi baat kabool kar rahe hai. Kisi aur ki ghulami mein nahi hai aap. To ask how far the respective rights of the sovereign citizens extend is to ask how far the citizens can engage with themselves each towards all and all towards each. This question when we ask what will be the right to you, it will be the right to ask what will be the right to you. Or what will be the right to an individual or what will be the right to society or what will be the right to society or what will be the right to both of them or what will be the right to you. Why is this question? Because when the government is made in general will, then the government is yours, you have made it. You are the author. So you are only asking, what right do you have over yourself? And what do we lose? Do we lose anything? He says, instead of losing, citizens only gain. It's my father, it's my father. It's my father, it's my father. No harm. From a mode of living unsettled and precarious, to one better and more secure, security will get. From a state of natural independence to one of liberty, liberty will get. From possessing the power of injuring others, पहले आपके पास ये हक था कि आप किसी दूसरे को नुकसान पहुंचा सकते थे, मगर अब क्या है? To security for themselves, अब आपके पास ताहफ़ज़ है. And from their strengths, which others might by the employment of theirs overcome, to a right which social unions union renders invincible. और इस तरह जब आप इकट्ठे होंगे so your itihad is in a blessing which will make you as a people invincible. What about the right of life and death? How can individuals having no right to dispose of their own lives transmit to the sovereign right which they do not possess? If I don't have this right that I will kill others in the state of nature, it's not a right thing to do, then how did I give the sovereign, the state, the right to punish someone with death? He asks. Man may not have the right to suicide, but every man has a right to risk his own life for self-preservation. Self-preservation ka right to hai na aapke paas. Or self-preservation ke liye apni jaan ki bazi lagane ka bhi haq hai aapke paas. 
That is what gives the sovereign the right to, uh, uh, to, uh, to life over its citizens even in the case of a situation where uh, the law is broken. What about the law? All justice flows from God we accept, but if we knew how to receive it, I love this phrase, but if we knew how to receive it from on high, we should require neither government nor laws. یہ بات حقیقت ہے کہ خدا تعالیٰ تو انصاف چاہتا ہے مگر ہمیں اگر انصاف کی سمجھ بوجھ ہوتی اگر ہم کو صحیح سم, سمجھ نہیں کی ہمارے میں ایبلٹی ہوتی تو پھر ہمیں قانون اور ریاست کی ضرورت ہی نہ ہوتی مگر ہمیں قانون اور ریاست کی ضرورت اسی لیے ہے دیٹ وی کین دین انٹرپریٹیڈ تھنگس اینڈ واٹ جسٹس از کریکٹلی اینڈ انفورس اٹ ان سول آڈر ایوری رائٹ از ڈٹرمنڈ بائی لا دا لا مسٹ آلویز بی جنرل دا ہول پیپل مسٹ ڈٹرمنڈ فار دا ہول پیپل دیٹ از واٹ آئی کال لا all those functions which relate to any individual object pertain not to the legislative power the law must always be general you cannot create a law which says har bande ko ye right hai magar zameen ko ye right nahi hai aisa kabhi kanoon kabhi constitution aapne ye nahi dekha hoga aisa ho hi nahi sakta it has to be for everybody the law is equal for everybody a state like this a state governed by law is what he calls a republic going all the way back to the idea of plato اب آپ سب جو ہے نا یو پروبلی اسکریچنگ یور ہیڈ ان یو سینگ سر تھیری میں تو باتیں بڑی اچھی لگ رہی ہیں مگر ریالٹی میں تو ایسے نہیں ہو سکتا سر پاکستان میں اتنے ان پڑھ لوگ ہیں ہے نا آپ یہی سوچ رہی ہیں نا اتنے ان پڑھ لوگ ہیں آپ کی اتنی اچھی اچھی نفیس باتیں جو ہیں وہ کہاں سمجھیں گے مانا کہ آپ کیمرہ پہ ریکارڈ کر رہے ہیں مگر زیادہ تر باتیں تو آپ ویسے بھی انگریزی میں کر رہے ہیں سر اور جو اردو میں کر رہے ہیں وہ بھی سر لوگوں کے سر کے اوپر سے نکل جانی ہے ایسی ہے آپ کچھ کہنا چاہ رہی ہیں صحیح بات اور وہ تو پڑھے لکھے لوگ ہیں جو واٹس ایپ گروپ پہ کہہ رہے تھے پانچ بجے ملے پھر کو کہتا نہیں میں تو پانچ پل کے پانچ منٹ پہ آؤں گا کیا مذاق ہے یار سو ہاؤ ول دس ہیپن دا پیپل آلویز ول دا گڈ بٹ دی ڈو ناٹ آلویز سی واٹ از گڈ فار دیم وہ بڑی امپورٹنٹ بات ہے ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ اچھا ہو مگر ہمیں پتہ نہیں ہے کہ اچھا کیا ہے آپ چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ ڈپریس نہ ہوں ایسے ہی ہے نا آپ چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ خوش ہوں زندگی میں مگر آپ کو پتہ نہیں ہے خوش ہونا ہونے کے لیے کیا کرنا ضروری ہے یا آپ اس کو کرنے کے لیے تیار نہیں جس طرح میں نے آپ کو کہا ہے کہ پانی زیادہ پیا کرو ایکسرسائز کیا کرو اور ٹائم پہ سویا کرو یہ تین چیزیں ہوں گی تو نوے فیصد جو آپ کے ذہن کے اندر نگیٹو تھاٹس ہے وہ دے ول ایویپوریٹ مگر آپ نے کسی ایک بندے نے میری بات نہیں مانی مانی کسی نے کوئی جلدی سویا رات کو یار یہ بچارا دو شریف بندے بیٹھے ہوئے تین چلو میرے کہنے پہ آپ جلدی سوئے ہیں یار تھینک یو اس کو یہ دینا ہے ٹھیک ہے اس کا گریڈ ابھی سے طے ہو چکا ہے جی آپ بھی ہیں اس کو بی پلس دے دینا تھوڑا لیٹ آیا سو تو ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ ہمارے ساتھ اچھا ہو مگر ہمیں پتہ نہیں ہے کہ وہ اچھے کو حاصل کرنے کے لیے ہمیں کیا کرنے کی ضرورت ہے دا جنرل ول از آلویز رائٹ بٹ دا ججمنٹ دیٹ گائڈ اٹ از ناٹ آلویز ان لائٹ اس کو گائڈ کرنا پڑتا ہے جنرل ول کو آپ کے اندر ایک ہے آپ کو پتہ ہے یار جو پچھلی حکومت تھی اس میں کچھ ٹھیک نہیں تھا اس کو ٹھیک کرنے کی ضرورت ہے اس میں بڑی کرپشن تھی اس کو ٹھیک کرنے کی ضرورت ہے مگر یہ جو نئی حکومت آئی ہے پتہ نہیں ٹھیک کر رہی ہے نہیں کر رہی کیا ہو رہا ہے اس میں بھی کچھ خرابی ہے پھر مولانا فضل الرحمان چڑھا ہوا ہے اوپر پیچھے سے کہ میں کتیس تاریخ کو پہنچ رہا ہوں اسلام آباد آئی ایکسیپٹ دس گورنمنٹ یو وانٹ سم تھنگ ٹو چینج اینڈ بی بیٹر بٹ یو ڈونٹ آلویز نو ہاؤ ٹو گیٹ دیر یس انڈیویجول سی دا گڈ دے ریجیکٹ دا پبلک ول دا گڈ اٹ ڈز ناٹ سی کیا بات ہے ایک فرد جو ہے اس کو شاید پتا ہو کہ یہ اچھی چیز ہے مگر وہ کہے گا یار یہ ہے تو سوسائٹی کے لیے اچھی مگر میرے لیے تو یہ اچھی ہے میں تو یہ کروں گا سو انڈیویجول کو شاید پتا بھی چل جائے کہ اور پبلک کیا کیا چاہتی ہے پبلک کہتی ہے کہ اس کو پتا نہیں کہ گڈ کیا ہے بٹ اٹ ولز دا گڈ فار دا پبلک آل ہیو آل ہیو ایکولی نیڈ فار گائیڈنس گائیڈنس کی ضرورت ہے لیڈرشپ کی ضرورت ہے سم مسٹ ہیو دیر ولز میڈ کنفرمبل ٹو دیر ریزن اینڈ ادرز مسٹ بی ٹاٹ واٹ اٹ از دیٹ دے ول یعنی کہ کچھ لوگوں کو سمجھانا پڑے گا کہ جو تم چاہ رہے ہو وہ اچھا نہیں ہے اور اچھا یہ ہے اور کچھ لوگوں کو بتانا چاہے بتانا پڑے گا کہ جو اچھائی تم چاہ رہے ہو اس کو حاصل کرنے کا یہ طریقہ ہے یہ دونوں چیزیں کرنی پڑے گی ہاں کون بتائے یہی تو بہت امپورٹنٹ سوال ہے آتے ہیں اس پہ آتے ہیں فکر نہ کریں فرام دس انکریز آف پبلک نالج وڈ ریزلٹ دا یونین آف ججمنٹ اینڈ ول 
in the social body. From thence is born the necessity of a legislator. So you need leadership. The legislator is a person, a leader, somebody who knows how to make legislation and bring it to the people. What is this? Gods would be required to give laws to mankind. He says, legislation is the highest point of perfection which human talents can attain. Agar aapne pata karna hai ki aap ki sabse skillful cheez kya hai? What is the high, what is the high, what is the profession which is the most important profession? Which requires the greatest wisdom and talent. It is not science. And I hate to tell you, it's not accounting and finance. <laughs> it's not even political economy or economics with politics which you are majoring in. He says it is legislation. To make laws that benefit society as a whole is the most important thing and requires the greatest talent. And it is the greatest aspiration that you as an intellectual can aspire to. He who commands mess men must not preside over the laws. He who presides over the laws must not have command over men. So if you are in charge of somebody and then you are making the law, you are likely to make laws that are not very good because you have a conflict of interest. So it is better that the legislator should be somebody who does not execute the laws. Only tells you what is a good law and what is a bad law. Makes the laws and somebody else executes it. And then you check whether the execution was correct or incorrect. The there is a separation of powers here. It is only the general will that can compel individuals. And it can never be known whether private will is conformable to the general will. Until it has been submitted to the free vote of the people. How do we then establish the general will? You have to submit the debate, this informed discussion to the free will of the people. So what is he saying? To put it in simple words, because obviously these are all small snippets and quotations from his text. What he's saying is that you need leadership to, to tell people about policies, about uh, laws, about uh, constitutions, what ought to be the case, what not, ought not to be the case, and so on and so forth. This has to be an informed debate. People who are highly informed, they come and tell people in a free open debate. You may have several people who present their points of views and then the public votes. Not on who is the most handsome, who is the most charismatic, who has the most money, but who has the best, in, whose policies represent the general will of the people. That's what you're trying to get at. That's the system of real democracy, is to find out how that works. Now, what would, what would ruin this? What would ruin it is, well, a few more words about the people before I talk about what would ruin it. The wise law David giver does not begin by drawing up laws which are good in themselves also. He has to understand the people he is governing or rather not governing but making laws for. But consider whether the people they are designed to govern are likely to carry them into effect. He has to see, he has to make laws in accordance with the psychology, temperament and culture of the, and history of the people. Not just this is a good law, pass ban No, it has to also keep in mind ke log kyunki kya culture hai, kya history hai, kya temperament. Most people are docile in their youth and become stubborn as age advances. Well, that's very true. I am much more stubborn than you are, probably. Once customs are established, it is difficult to change them. The people, like, the people like cowardly and stupid patients who tremble at the sight of the physician will not even bear to have their evils examined into, uh, uh, with a view to removing them. So they're like, the people become like patients who like, doctor say, doctor but dard ho rahi Or doctor sahab ke baas jate hai aur let me have a look. Nee, 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 aak nee lagana. Main examine kaise karunga? Nee, 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 bas idur sahi, examine kare. So, when the doctor examine not examine, how will the pain be done? So, we also become like that. I am reminded of often that when I write on my page and on my page, that this is very bad in Pakistan. It is need to fix it. It is need to fix it. So, what do people say? People say, Sir, why are you always negative? Let's do positive things about Pakistan. Let's do positive images about Pakistan. It means that they are very scared of Pakistan. It means that they are very scared of Pakistanis examining our own problems. Uh, like, uh, uh, you know, like when you become very un underconfident or unsure or scared 
देन यू इफ समी पॉइंट्स आउट टू यू के यार uh, आपका क्या नाम है मानूर यू आर अ वेरी नाइस पर्सन एंड अ लवली स्टूडेंट बट मानूर ये चीज़ जो है ना आप ठीक नहीं कर रही इस पर ज़रा नज़र सानी करें अगर आप कॉन्फिडेंट है ना तो आप कहेंगे दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग आइडिया लेट मी थिंक अबाउट दिस एंड लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन फिक्स इट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा अगर आप अंडर कॉन्फिडेंट है तो क्या होगा आप डिफेंसिव हो जाएंगी आप नहीं 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 बिल्कुल ठीक है देखो मैंने वो काम बिल्कुल ठीक है मैंने ये काम बिल्कुल ठीक किया मैंने ये भी काम बिल्कुल ठीक किया मैंने वो भी काम भाई वो काम सारे ठीक किए होंगे मगर ये काम ठीक नहीं हो रहा ठीक है ना इस बात को एक्नॉलेज करने के लिए कॉन्फिडेंस चाहिए हमारी पब्लिक में कभी कभार वो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं नजर आता जब अगर मैं कह दूँ कि खातन के हालात बड़े ख़राब हैं वो छोड़े आप खातन के हालात की क्यों बात कर रहे हैं देखें हमारे पहाड़ कितने खूबसूरत हैं भाई पहाड़ खूबसूरत है हमारी वादियाँ खूबसूरत हैं हमारे लोग बड़े जनरस हैं बड़े अच्छे म्यूजिशियंस हम बनाते हैं आर्टिस्ट पोइट्स वगैरह भी पाकिस्तान से डेवलप होते हैं बाकी जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनको भी तो ठीक करना है और उनको ठीक नहीं किया जा सकता जब तक तो उनको एड्रेस ना किया जाए तो ऐसा ही है लोगों के साथ सो so, मगर समटाइम्स इन हिस्ट्री वट हैपन्स इज कि अ वायलेंट ई और अ रेवोल्यूशन कैन कॉज दैम टू फगेट कुछ चंड चुन पड़े ना इनकलाब की या जंग की तो उससे एकदम से बंदा हिल जाता है और कहता आई नीड आंसर्स आई नीड आंसर्स they are rare and do not happen twice there is a period of youthful maturity which is the ideal time to create laws or to create new laws then people become open to change they realize that there's a crisis and they may rethink their views so to sum up jean jacques rousseau he believes that the march of civilization has been very negative we have been torn from our state of nature and we uh, we have been corrupted by private property by greed even by science by even by art and literature and so on but in this march of civilization there is the possibility that we can once again create a society of freedom where the, where every individual works for the betterment of society and society in turn works for the betterment of the individual one for all and all for one that requires us to enter into a process whereby we are able to tease out bring out we have to find we have to discover it's it's obscured it's not so easy to for us to figure it out we have to bring out what do we have to bring out the general will what is the general will it is it is law policy ideas uh governance that will benefit society as a whole it will not benefit the private will of one over another but will benefit everyone when we discover that general will we come together in a social contract that social contract then gives the power of society to the sovereign in order to enforce the general will to find the general will we need good informed discussion debate we need good legislatures we need good leadership we need people to tease that out when we find that out we vote on it we make that the law of the land and then we follow the law of the land we will have equality we will have fraternity we will we will have liberty we will have freedom that in a nutshell is jean jacques rousseau